Hello everybody. Well, I live in Kefili, don't I? So I can't go off in the motorhome. I can't go looking at narrowboats. I can't even go down the towpaths because we haven't got a canal up here. So uh, I've done a load of washing instead. <laughs> but the other day I was thinking to myself, well, what is there of interest in Kefili? And uh, I looked it up. And it only came up with two things. That was uh, Kefili Castle and uh, the Chartist Bridge at uh, Blackwood, which is just down the road from where, where we live. So uh, I thought I'd go and do a little bit of videoing around um, Kefili and near where I live. And uh, you might be interested to have a look. A bit of history and a bit of nature. Take a look. Welcome to Caffili County Borough. I'm standing on the top of Caffili Mountain next to the trig point. And there it is on top of that. And there's the Ordnance Survey mark. Over there in the far distance is uh, Cardiff the city. And then if I pan around looking out to the west, the northwest, keep going round, suburbs of Caffili Town, in the far distance the Brecon Beacons. And over across to where I live, over that hill. And down there the town of Kefili and in the heart of Kefili is the castle. There it is, let's go and take a closer look. I must have seen Kefili Castle when I was a child but I'd forgotten about it. And one day a few years ago I was driving down this high street for the first time and I thought bit dismal and then I turn the corner here and the sight that opened up to me was quite amazing the castle it's the largest concentric castle in Britain and it's complete with a moat. In case you're wondering, the handrails are modern. Not original. <laughs> and nor are the catapults. They were done for a television programme. The Leaning Tower is the result of a vandal called Oliver Cromwell and it leans at 10 degrees, twice as much as the Tower of Pisa. But worry not, that chap's holding it up. And there's the back door, tradesman's entrance. But the thing that Capilli's probably most famous for, although a lot of people don't know it, is just over there. Capilli is the birthplace of that much loved comedian Just like that. Well that was Caffili Castle and now a little bit about the Chartist Bridge. It was built to commemorate something that happened on the 4th of November 1839. There was a movement known as the Chartists. People were fed up with the bad conditions for working, poor pay, 
no votes unless you own land and so on. They were just absolutely fed up. So a movement was started called the Chartists. And five of their number from this area had been taken into custody and were being held in the Westgate Hotel in Newport, just down the road here. <coughs> and that night, <coughs> 3,000 Chartists, led by John Frost, marched on the Westgate Hotel in Newport. They were armed with farm implements, pitchforks, scythes, and that sort of thing. Unfortunately, there were 100 soldiers there at the Westgate Hotel and 22 of the Chartists were killed and around about 50 wounded. And so when this bridge was built, they named it after the Chartists. That's the story. Come and have a look. The Chartist Bridge. It's a cable stayed bridge with a, an A-frame pylon in the centre. It's 230 metres long and is 30 metres above the Sahawi Valley below and the column is 90 metres high. And it's a landmark that can be seen from miles away. And at one end of the bridge there's a sculptor typifying one of the Chartists holding some sort of farm implement on his way to Newport. I live in a place called Cumvinimvach, which translated into English is Valley of the Little Mill. And there is the Little Mill. And from 1887 until 1949, a man by the name of Arthur Ernest Moore lived here. He was a radio ham. And on April 15th, 1912, he picked up the SOS message from the Titanic. And next to the little mill is a little bridge over the Sahawi River in the Sahawi Valley. And it really is a little bridge, just seven feet wide. But it might be little, but it is busy. I've been over it numerous times. And in this little conservation area, there is a council workshop. And although it's closed, the man let me in to see some of his wares. His main trade is specialist candles, and he's made a lot for uh, film sets and even some for royalty. It's a strange little place, but he seems to keep himself busy. Good luck to him. I'm on the top of the hill behind our house and here's a good example of a Norman Mott and Bailey. There's the mound and all the way around you can see the moat. There it is. And they did all that without a digger. No JCBs. We had a visitor a couple of weeks ago who was a very keen cyclist. He was uh, road racing and velodrome racing and he's got a bit of fancy equipment on his bike and he tried to cycle up this hill and it showed 28% 28% climb. <laughs> it didn't make it. You wouldn't want your brakes to fail on this road. And finally for this time into the Sahawi Country Park. Definitely. And over this bridge, which is called the Pont Loris Rees Bridge. And above that bridge there used to run uh, a tramway followed by a railway track and it's now a walkway. The park's about nearly four miles long, uh, just over six kilometres, and uh, it's very keen, popular with uh, cyclists as well. It's a lovely place. And that folk is a little bit of Caffili County Borough.
Thanks for watching.